Hey, I'm Morgan Spurlock, and you're about to watch This is Spinal Tap from my short list, Cult Films 101. It's actually in the movie. Hello, my name is Marty DeBerge. I'm a filmmaker. And so you're like, why is Meathead directing this movie? You see Michael McKeon, Lenny from Lenny and Squiggy, and then you realize that it was all just a big joke. You know, the first film looked at kind of fast food from kind of a consumer point of view, and we wanted this one to be from a corporate point of view, from the industry side. I've eaten so much chicken over the course of this. What do we want it to be like? What do we want it to taste like? What do you want the texture to be? It's like everything. It's like I've eaten so much. And, and what is everybody else making? Like, what are all the other chicken restaurants doing? We picked. So saddening and heartbreaking news, Morgan Sparrow, the documentary are known for Super Size Me, sadly passed away yesterday, a Thursday, in upstate New York, due to complications of cancer. He was only 53 years old. Morgan Sparrow's death was confirmed by his family in a statement via his publicist. In the statement, his brother, and collaborator Craig said it was a sad day as we said goodbye to my brother Morgan. Morgan gave so much through his art, ideas and generosity. The world has lost a true creative genius and a special man. Sparrow closed prominence for Super Size Me in which he conducted an experiment involving consuming only food from McDonald's for a Saturday stretch. The rules also included a stipulation that Spalock could not refuse the super size option if prompted during the transaction. In the 13 years following Super Size Me, Spalock gained additional success under his production company, Warrior Poets, producing and directing nearly 70 documentary films and television series. Sparrow is survived by his two children, Larkin and Cullen. Their mother, Phil Sparrow, father, Ben, mad ponies and nephews, and former spouses, Alexandra Jameson and Sarah Beinstein. May his soul rest in eternal peace. We send our deepest condolences to his family and we request you to give them prayers because right now they are feeling so sudden. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to hit on that notification bell in order to get notified of everything concerning Sparrow's death.